Do you believe in luck? Well, these people definitely believe in luck and fate after stumbling upon the most valuable finds by complete accident. From one of the biggest and most valuable hordes to a man-shaped town, here are 20 accidental discoveries that changed the world. Number 20. The Saddle Ridge Horde. Do you believe in serendipity? You know, when people encounter something great by chance or by pure luck? If you don't, then perhaps you'll change your mind after hearing the story of how the magnificent horde of Saddle Ridge was discovered. It was a seemingly ordinary day in February 2013. A couple in Northern California was walking their dog on their property when they stumbled upon rusted cans. Usually, they'd think it was nothing but rubbish, but when they looked closer, they realized that the can was filled with over 1,400 gold coins. The couple was delighted by their discovery, and when they heard what the experts had to say about their find, they could hardly believe their luck. The coins turned out to be minted around the mid to late 1800s, and their condition gives them an eye-watering price tag of over $10 million. But beyond that steep value, this hoard shows the rich history of America's gold rush era, and this is just a tiny portion of the money generated by that golden era. Imagine just walking your dog, thinking it'll be just another mundane day, and then coming home with a bag full of gold coins. These are the stories you'd wish would also happen to you, but I guess not everyone can be as lucky. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 19. The Venus de Milo Perhaps you've seen this statue before, on the internet, on postcards, wallpapers, or in movies. This beautiful statue with no arms is known as the Venus de Milo, or the Aphrodite of Milos, and it's one of the greatest accidental discoveries that changed the art world. In 1820, a local farmer on the Aegean island of Milos stumbled upon this 6-foot, 8-inch tall gem while going about his usual day. This iconic statue was found buried in the ground, but even with dirt covering the artwork, those who stumbled upon the statue knew its value. Experts believe this statue dates back to somewhere between 130 and 100 BCE, it's believed that this statue represents either Venus, the goddess of love, the Roman counterpart of Aphrodite, or Amphitrite, the goddess of the sea, held a distinct significance among the people of Milos, where the artwork was first uncovered. Now, while the statue's identity and meaning aren't much of a question, her missing arms remain a puzzle for many. Where did her arms go? Some theories suggest that her missing limbs result from the passage of time and accidents, while others hint that they were never completed, are there any art enthusiasts out there who could give a bit of insight? Feel free to do so in the comments. Number 18. Derinkuyu, the underground city. Most people expect the worst when they need to repair something in their house. But this man got the surprise of a lifetime when he stumbled upon an abandoned town behind his home's wall. In the 1960s, a Turkish homeowner trying to renovate his house knocked down a wall, and instead of pipes or old tiles, he stumbled upon an ancient underground city known as Derinkuyu, a place now known as one of the most significant archaeological finds. Derinkuyu, situated in the region of Cappadocia, isn't just a small basement hideaway. It extends about 280 feet down, with intricate tunnels, chambers, air shafts, and even wine cellars. I guess people at the time really knew their priorities. With its size, this underground haven could easily accommodate up to 20,000 people. Historians believe the Phrygians carved this underground marvel in the 8th to 7th centuries BC. Over time, various groups, including early Christians, used it as a hideout from raiders and persecutors. From churches to schools and everything in between, Derinkuyu was more than just a temporary refuge. It was a bustling community beneath the surface. It wasn't until 1923 that its Christian inhabitants were driven away from Turkey and moved to Greece. It's amazing that after hundreds of years, Someone discovered this significant find by pure luck. Number 17. 900-year-old crusader sword off the Carmel Coast. Imagine being a scuba diver, expecting to find some colorful fish or perhaps an old boot, and instead, you pull out a 900-year-old crusader sword. Sounds like the beginning of a heroic tale, right? Well, this happened in 2016. Spoiler alert, the sword didn't give the diver any superpowers. The medieval relic was found by a diver exploring the waters near the Israeli city of Haifa. Experts believe that the barnacle-covered sword belonged to a crusader knight, a warrior who partook in the religiously sanctioned military campaigns waged by Europe in the medieval era. 
The immaculately preserved blade, which must have seen countless battles and duels, found its resting place on the seabed, waiting patiently for centuries to be discovered. But the real wonder isn't just the sword itself. It's the thought of how it ended up there. Was it lost in a shipwreck? Discarded after a coastal skirmish? Or perhaps a knight decided to take up underwater basket weaving and dropped it? Well, perhaps we'll never know. After all, there wasn't anything around the sword that could give any hint about its former wielder's identity. So if you see any suspicious-looking items encrusted with sea creatures on the seabed, you might want to take a closer look. Who knows? You just might have spotted an artifact lost in time. Number 16. The Terracotta Army In 1974, a couple of farmers in Xi'an were hoping for a productive day of well digging. They didn't expect to uncover the tip of one of the most significant archaeological finds of the 20th century. Instead of water, they stumbled upon a vast underground chamber filled with rows upon rows of terracotta warriors, each with a unique facial expression, ready for battle. These statues turned out to be part of a larger necropolis built for Emperor Qin Shi Huang, the first emperor of unified China. What's astounding is that this massive underground mausoleum spans approximately 24,000 acres. The warriors, along with horses and chariots, were crafted to protect the emperor in his journey through the afterlife. Archaeologists estimate that there are over 8,000 soldiers, but only a fraction have been excavated. The craftsmanship and attention to detail on each figure are so impeccable that many hail the emperor's tomb as the grandest discovered in East Asia. Now remember that the terracotta warriors are just the guardians of the emperor's tomb. The resting place of Emperor Qin Shi Huang remains sealed and unexplored for good reason. Archaeologists believe that it would be difficult to open the tomb because of the incredibly high concentration of mercury found near the emperor's mound. What's more, experts today currently don't have the right tools to properly excavate the emperor's resting place. If the outside of the emperor's tomb is this grand, just imagine what the inside contains. Any guesses? Number 15. The Lascaux Cave On the 12th of September, 1940, an 18-year-old named Marcel Ravidat experienced a twist of fate that would lead to one of the most significant archaeological discoveries of the 20th century, all thanks to his dog, Robot. While out for a walk near the village of Montagnac in the Dordogne region of southwestern France, Robot began chasing after something and led Marcel to a concealed entrance of a cave. Little did Marcel know he was about to uncover a world of ancient wonders. As he ventured into the Lascaux cave, Ravidat found himself surrounded by a mesmerizing array of paintings that adorned its walls and ceilings. These were no ordinary paintings, but depictions of a myriad of animals such as stags, bulls, horses, and more. Researchers and archaeologists later confirmed that these cave paintings weren't created within a few centuries. Their origins can be traced back approximately 17,000 years to the Upper Paleolithic era. This revelation placed the Lascaux Cave as one of the most important sites of prehistoric art in the world. As investigations into the cave deepened, experts identified more than 600 individual paintings and thousands of other figures and symbols. Initially, the cave was open to the public, but because of the continuous degradation of the place, authorities and experts created replicas to conserve the artworks within the original cave. Quite a smart move. Number 14. The Dead Sea Scrolls In the scorching heat of 1947, near the shores of the Dead Sea in modern-day Israel, a Bedouin shepherd named Mohammed Eddib stumbled upon an archaeological find of immense significance, all thanks to the wanderings of a stray goat. As the story goes, the young shepherd was searching for his lost goat among the limestone cliffs of Qumran. Frustrated, he decided to throw a stone into a nearby cave, hoping to either drive out his goat or scare any predators. Instead of the bleat of a goat, he heard the shattering of pottery. Curious, Mohammed ventured into the cave and discovered a collection of large clay jars. Inside these jars, he found a trove of ancient parchments and papyrus scrolls, which would later be recognized as the Dead Sea Scrolls. These scrolls were no ordinary finds, comprising over 900 manuscripts written in Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek. They date back to the last three centuries BCE and the first century CE. The significance of the Dead Sea Scrolls cannot be overstated. They contain some of the oldest known surviving copies of the Hebrew Bible, along with other Jewish texts providing invaluable insights into Judaism's history and the roots of Christianity. These documents included detailed biblical commentaries, hymns, and unique texts about mystical practices and community regulations. What's astounding is that to this day, we continue to discover fragments and pages of these writings. 
Number 13. Mobile Cave In 1986, near the town of Mangalia in southeastern Romania, a geochemist named Christian Lascu made an accidental discovery that would challenge our understanding of life on Earth. While surveying the area for a suitable spot to build a power plant, Lascu stumbled upon what seemed to be an ordinary ground hole. But when he descended into it, he found himself in the Mobile Cave, the subterranean world cut off from the rest of the planet for an estimated 5.5 million years. Without any light, one would expect the cave to be devoid of life, but the exact opposite was true. The air in the cave is thick with harmful gases like hydrogen sulfide and carbon dioxide and has only half the amount of oxygen we're used to. Yet, in this seemingly inhospitable environment, life has not only persisted, but flourished. The ecosystem of the Mobile Cave is based on chemosynthesis, which is a process where bacteria convert carbon dioxide into organic matter using energy derived from reactions involving chemicals like hydrogen sulfide. This is in stark contrast to the majority of life on Earth, which relies on photosynthesis, a process that uses the sun's energy. But bacteria aren't the only residents of this cave. Over 48 species, including spiders, water scorpions, and centipedes have been discovered in Mobile, and a staggering 33 of them can't be found anywhere else on Earth. These creatures have evolved in complete darkness, adapting to the cave's challenging conditions over millions of years. Many have lost their color and eyesight, as they're redundant in the pitch-black environment. Wouldn't it be spectacular if we could find a similar unexplored ecosystem in other places on our planet? Just imagine what other creatures we'd find there. Number 12. Hoxon Horde In 1992, in the small village of Hoxon in Suffolk, England, a man named Derek Laws was on a seemingly ordinary mission to find a friend's lost hammer using his metal detector. While that may sound mundane, what Laws unearthed was anything but ordinary. Instead of locating the hammer, which you'd be glad to hear he did eventually find, he stumbled upon the Hoxon Horde. The Hoxon Horde is the largest cache of late Roman gold and silver discovered in Britain, with over 14,865 gold, silver, and bronze coins and approximately 200 items of silver tableware and gold jewelry. Among the most notable pieces is the Empress Pepper Pot, a beautifully detailed silver vessel shaped like a woman, possibly representing an empress or a deity. Historians believe the hoard was buried for safekeeping during a period of political upheaval and uncertainty around the end of Roman rule in Britain. The owners likely intended to retrieve it, but for reasons lost to history, never returned. Number 11. Merry Man in the remote South Australian outback, 1998 brought forth a mystery that would baffle locals and experts, the Murray Man. The Murray Man is an enormous geoglyph, a design on the ground made by arranging rocks or altering the landscape that depicts an indigenous Australian man hunting with a boomerang or stick. This massive figure was serendipitously spotted by a pilot flying over South Australia. Given its size, the geoglyph can only be fully appreciated from the air. Despite extensive investigations and multiple theories ranging from local artists to American soldiers or even extraterrestrial involvement, the origin and purpose of the Mari Man remain an enigma. No individual or group has ever convincingly claimed its creation. Number 10. Piri Rees Map It's 1929, and Gustav Adolf Diesmann, a German theologian, is browsing through the dusty forgotten corners of Istanbul's Topkapi Palace Library. By complete chance, he stumbled upon an aged parchment that would rewrite our understanding of ancient cartography, the Piri Reis map. Drafted in 1513 by the Ottoman admiral and cartographer Piri Reis, this map is a unique cartographic creation. Not only is it known for its detailed depiction of the European and African coastlines, but it's also known for a bizarre feature, a continent resembling Antarctica. But instead of the icy continent it is today, it's depicted in its pre-glacial state. Now the timelines just don't align. How did Piri Reis manage to accurately draw Antarctica in its former state at a time when it was free of ice, which hasn't been the case for millions of years? Well, some say that the cartographer was a time traveler, while others propose extraterrestrial and mistaken location theories. Regardless of the truth, this map is one of the most astonishing creations in history. Number 9. Antikythera Mechanism In 1901, a group of sponge divers seeking shelter from a storm near the Greek island of Antikythera decided to dive around the area to pass the time. Expecting sponges, one of the divers resurfaced with news of a shipwreck filled with statues and coins. Among these treasures is the Antikythera mechanism, 
which is now known as one of the most valuable archaeological finds. This artifact is believed to date back to the 1st century BCE, and as unbelievable as it sounds, it's suspected to be one of the earliest computers ever created. Its purpose? To track celestial events, predict lunar and solar eclipses, and even replicate the irregular orbit of the moon. Yes, the ancient Greeks had their very own astronomical calculator. Its complex assembly of over 30 meshing bronze gears highlights the advanced technical prowess of ancient civilizations. Imagine just how brilliant our ancestors were. They had the amazing ability to construct something so sophisticated that it was ahead of their time. Number 8. Sphere of Costa Rica You've heard of stumbling upon a hidden treasure, but how about literally tripping over a mysterious giant stone ball? Back in the 1930s, while workers from the United Fruit Company cleared the jungle in the Deep East Delta of southern Costa Rica for banana plantations, they unearthed a few surprises. Not gold or ancient artifacts, but perfectly round, massive stone spheres. It's safe to say that these workers were stumped by what they found. Known as the Stone Spheres of Costa Rica, or Las Bolas, these intriguing artifacts range from just a few centimeters to over seven feet in diameter, with some weighing a staggering 16 tons. Crafted from a hard igneous rock called granodiorite, many spheres are impressively close to perfect in shape. To this day, the purpose and methods used to create these spheres remain a bit of a mystery. Well, it is believed that the region's indigenous peoples created these spheres, but it's debated whether they were created for spiritual or aesthetic purposes. Regardless, these massive stone spheres are quite impressive. Number 7. Herculaneum You've probably heard about Pompeii, the city that was destroyed and reduced to ruins by the wrath of Mount Vesuvius. You might have even visited this place before, but do you recognize the name Herculaneum? If you don't, then it's time we learn about this location. Pompeii has been under the spotlight long enough. Let's go back to 1709. A farmer in southern Italy was just trying to dig a well, but instead of hitting the water, he dug straight into an ancient theater. This was the first glimpse of Herculaneum since it was engulfed by the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD. Located closer to Vesuvius than Pompeii, Herculaneum faced a rapid onslaught of superheated pyroclastic flows. Now while that sounds devastating, and really it was, because of it, the entire place was almost perfectly preserved. Due to the extreme heat and rapid burial, numerous organic materials such as wood and food were exceptionally well preserved, including two-story buildings with intact wooden beams and scrolls. It's a wonder why Pompeii is the only one that keeps appearing in books and forms. Now if any of you guys have known about Herculaneum prior to watching this video, perhaps you know a fun fact or two about this place. If I fail to mention it, feel free to share it in the comments below. Number 6. 1,500-Year-Old Burial Slab In 2020, 13-year-old Stab Mir was foraging after heavy rains near the coastal city of Caesarea when he stumbled upon a literal piece of history. Instead of unearthing a mushroom hidden beneath the moist earth, Stab's keen eyes spotted something quite out of place, a stone chunk bearing a distinct carving. On closer inspection, it turned out to be a part of a 1,500-year-old Byzantine-era Greek burial inscription. The area around Caesarea has been a treasure trove for archaeologists for years, given its rich history and significance during the Roman and Byzantine eras. But it's one thing for an archaeologist to make a discovery, and quite another for a 7th grader to accidentally find an incredibly significant piece of history. Number 5. Nori Rowan and the Edinburgh Vaults In the 1980s, while doing some house renovations, Nori Rowan found himself quite literally breaking through the floorboards into a piece of Edinburgh's forgotten past, the mysterious Edinburgh Vaults. Now, for context, the Edinburgh Vaults are chambers that were initially constructed in the 18th century. Over the years, they've served various purposes, from workshops for tradespeople and storage spaces, to unfortunately, dens for illicit activities and rumored hideouts for criminals. As Edinburgh grew and thrived above, these vaults fell into obscurity until wholly forgotten and abandoned. Their existence became a murky blend of urban legend and historical fact, with only a few aware of what lay beneath the city's cobblestone streets. Rowan's accidental rediscovery of the vaults opened the door, or should I say floor, to historians and the locals' curiosity. Today, the Edinburgh vaults are one of the city's most popular tourist attractions. Numerous tours are available, each offering a unique perspective, from historical accounts to the supernatural tales associated with the vaults. 
Due to their long history and the myriad of stories associated with them, the vaults are believed by many to be one of the most haunted places in the UK. Now would you dare visit this place? Or is this a hard pass for you? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Number 4. Luke Irwin Roman Villa Have you ever started a minor home improvement project and ended up uncovering a historical treasure? No? Well, Luke Irwin can't say the same. In 2015, Luke, a professional rug designer, wanted to lay some electricity cables in his garden to provide lighting to an old barn. Sounds straightforward enough, but when the workers began digging, they hit something much more ancient than a rusty old pipe. To everyone's astonishment, they had stumbled upon a pristine Roman mosaic, a relic from a bygone era. Subsequent excavations by archaeologists revealed that this mosaic was part of a grand Roman villa, likely constructed between AD 175 and 220. This villa, located near the village of Tisbury in Wiltshire, is believed to be one of the largest ever found in Britain. What's even more fascinating is that the villa, based on its size and the artifacts found, probably belonged to a family of significant wealth and status. Items discovered include a child's coffin, jewelry, pottery, and coins. Historians believe the site remained occupied from the Roman era to the 5th century. Quite the lucky and life-changing find indeed. Number 3. Olduvai Gorge In the early 20th century, German entomologist Wilhelm Katwinkel was in Tanzania, hoping to learn more about butterflies. But in the process, he accidentally stumbled upon the Olduvai Gorge. Now while he might have been a bit bummed that he didn't get to have a closer look at the insects, what he found turned out to be far more valuable. In this gorge, renowned paleoanthropologist couple Lewis and Mary Leakey discovered fossils and stone tools in the 1930s, making it one of the most significant places in history. After all, it tells us about human evolution. The most significant find in this area? Bones of the early hominin species Homo habilis, believed to be one of the earliest members of the human family tree. Number 2. Rosetta Stone Surely, before experts could decode hieroglyphics, someone wished for an easier way to decipher it, and perhaps the universe answered them with the Rosetta Stone. This magnificent find was discovered in 1799 in Rosetta, Egypt, by a group of unsuspecting French soldiers who were strengthening a fort. They probably expected a routine day of manual labor, but as their shovels hit a slab with inscriptions, history quite literally was unearthed. What they found wasn't just any old stone. It was the key to deciphering hieroglyphs. You see, the Rosetta Stone is a granite diorite slab inscribed with a decree issued in Memphis in 196 BC on behalf of King Ptolemy V. The exact text appears in three different scripts, hieroglyphic, demotic, and ancient Greek. This makes it sort of a cheat code to translate the three scripts. The stone's discovery was monumental because by the 19th century, the knowledge of reading hieroglyphs had been lost for over a millennium. But with a known language, ancient Greek available as a reference, scholars and experts could crack the code. By 1822, the mysteries of ancient Egyptian writing were finally being unveiled. But did you know that this stone was almost lost to history? You see, it was first unearthed during Napoleon Bonaparte's Egyptian campaign, but it somehow ended up in the French troops' cash. Then, in 1801, when the British defeated the French in Egypt, a considerable collection of artifacts, including our dear Rosetta Stone, was reluctantly handed over to the British under the capitulation of Alexandria. Now just imagine if the stone wasn't rediscovered. What if it had been left behind? How far would our knowledge about ancient Egypt regress? Fortunately, we're not in this timeline. And now it's time for today's topic. An explorer flies their drone over a rainforest. The drone accidentally captures something that shocks the world. In most cases, Drones obtain breathtaking footage of a region's natural landscape, but this time, a drone discovered what looked like a lake. There, floating beneath the surface of the murky water, are several bodies of lifeless soldiers. The explorer immediately reported what he saw to the nearest local authority, but upon returning to the location, they only found a camp of local soldiers who were alive, contrary to what the drone captured. What were they doing? Was it some sort of weird simulation or exercise? Or perhaps, did the drone capture something supernatural? A premonition, if you will. Well, I guess sometimes the most bizarre things can happen unexpectedly. Number 1. Man-Shaped Town Centuripe, located in the province of Venice, Sicily, is a unique town. Not because of its food, people, or attractions, 
but because of the entire town itself. I mean, it still boasts the usual charms. Historical architecture, mouth-watering cuisine, and panoramic views. But the most notable thing about this place is its geographical features. You see, from an aerial perspective, the town's layout and surrounding topography curiously resemble a human figure. Centuripe has ancient roots, tracing back to the times of the Sicils, Sicily's original inhabitants. The town later fell under various dominions, from the Greeks to the Romans. Its location upon the hills made it a strategic vantage point during wars, and its rich soil, courtesy of the nearby Mount Etna, made it an agricultural hub. Who knew that this town would turn out to be an intriguing geographical feature? The outline is remarkably detailed, from what appears to be a head, arms, and legs, making Centuripe perhaps the world's largest unintentional human-shaped monument. The head of this human-shaped figure corresponds to the town's center, which contains historical sites and buildings. The body extends into the surrounding hills and valleys, making it a fascinating study of natural geography. The unusual shape of the land and its historical sites make Centuripe an intriguing destination for tourists. What's more, experts didn't make this discovery, but rather, it was an accidental find by drone operators. These discoveries are incredible, but now I want to hear about the most significant opportunity or item you found by accident. Perhaps you found a valuable family heirloom while cleaning your home. Or maybe you secured a great internship after emailing the wrong email address. I'll be waiting for your responses in the comments. Before you go, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.